Meditation for the Modern Mind Finding Stillness in a Chaotic World Understanding Meditation A lot of people have weird ideas about meditation. But the truth is, meditation is way simpler. It's really about being present, noticing those thoughts and feelings that pop into your head, but chillin' and not getting all worked up about them. Science says it works. Yep, really. Turns out, meditation isn't just for hippies anymore. Scientists have been studying it for years, and guess what? There's solid proof that it can. Distress you, less anxiety, better chill-out skills. Help you focus. Think of it like a workout for your attention muscle. Get your emotions in check, less freakouts, better ways to cope. Make you nicer. Meditation can boost that compassion thing. Keep you healthy. Some research even says it messes with your immune system in a good way. Fun fact. Did you know meditation can actually change the way your brain is wired? It's all about getting those attention and self-control areas stronger. Okay, but how do you even meditate? There's more than one way to do it right. Here are some of the most popular kinds. Mindfulness of breath. Just follow your breath in and out, in and out. Notice how it feels. That's basically it. Body scan. Pay attention to all the different sensations going on in your body, from your toes all the way up to your head. Guided meditation, great for beginners. Apps or teachers lead you through the steps. Mantra meditation, get focused by repeating a word or phrase over and over. Loving kindness meditation, spread good vibes by thinking about all the positive stuff you wish for yourself and others. Remember, there's no pressure. Even a few minutes of meditation most days is a worthwhile habit. Start small, try different methods, and find what clicks with you. Finding your meditation groove, time, space, and setup. When should I do this meditation thing? Honestly, there's no perfect time. The key? Find a few minutes whenever you can reliably be alone. Even just five minutes to start is totally awesome. Where's the ideal meditation spot? Anywhere quiet where you won't be bothered. Doesn't have to be fancy. Get comfy, not sloppy. Sit up straightish, but not stiff like a statue. Shoulders relaxed, maybe on a cushion or a regular chair. Eyes closed or a soft gaze downward helps keep distractions out. Meditation hacks for beginners. The timer is your friend. Start small. Even five minutes is a win. Ditch the tight clothes. You want to be able to breathe, right? Apps aren't cheating. If you're the type who likes following directions, there are tons of guided meditation apps. Your meditation journey, a step-by-step -step guide. Find your chill spot and get comfy. Let's let go of tension. Take a couple of big, deep breaths in and out. Choose your focus. Your breath is your best friend here. Monkey mind alert. Your mind will go wandering. Daydreams, to-do lists, totally normal. The trick is noticing when it happens and without being mad at yourself, gently bring your attention back to your breath. Open up, no pressure. Okay, once you've got the breath focus down, Try being aware of other things, any sounds you hear, the way your body feels, emotions popping up. Don't get attached to any of it, just watch it all come and go. Mindfulness, it's not just for sitting still. So, you've gotten the hang of focusing on your breath or doing a body scan, but what about when real life throws stuff at you? Here's how mindfulness can make a difference in everyday moments. Mindful munching. Ditch the distractions, engage your senses, and slow your roll. Walking with purpose, it's not about getting anywhere. Feel your body moving, notice the environment. You'll be surprised at what you've been missing. Being truly present with people, listen like you mean it, check your reactions, and boost your compassion. FAQs, addressing common questions and concerns. I can't stop my thoughts. Don't worry, nobody can. Meditation is about noticing your thoughts, not banishing them. I always fall asleep when I try to meditate. This often indicates a need for restorative rest. Try meditating after a good night's sleep or slightly earlier in the day. I have a physical condition. Can I still meditate? Absolutely. There are modifications for various needs and guided meditations may be especially helpful. Facts versus myths, debunking misconceptions about meditation. Myth, meditation is inherently religious. Fact, while rooted in spiritual traditions, meditation can be entirely secular, focusing simply on mental training. Myth, you need to sit for hours to get benefits. 
Fact, even short, regular practice can have a profound impact. Myth, meditation is difficult to learn. Fact, basic techniques are simple, and the more you practice, the easier it gets. Meditation, the my brain is a jerk breakthrough. I always thought I was my thoughts. Meditation changed everything. Here's what I realized. Step back, just watch. Meditation is like giving yourself a mental balcony. Oh hey, that's just my brain doing its thing. Once you have that distance, you see your thoughts aren't absolute truths. Anxiety loses its grip. When I'm freaking out, that simple realization, this is just fear radio broadcasting, I don't have to buy into it, helps me chill out way faster. Meditation, not a luxury, a life hack. Life's crazy, right? Think of meditation this way. It's not a treat you indulge in. It's like going to the gym for your brain. Why it's worth making time. Strengthens your focus. Helps you train it to sit still when you need it to. Lowers the stress volume. Life throws curveballs. Meditating regularly builds up your mental resilience. Teaches you self-kindness. It's about noticing when your mind races off and gently coming back. That's training in patience and self-compassion right there. Getting started. No perfection needed. Start small. Just five minutes a day is awesome. It's okay if it feels awkward. Everyone feels weird at the beginning. The key is sticking with it. Find your jam. Sitting with focused breathing, a guided meditation, mindful walking. Try different things till something clicks. If you found this helpful, maybe give this video a thumbs up. It really helps others discover it. And if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching.